We are back on the second part of the lid here. I can't tell I'm a little sick or hopefully getting over some sickness here recently, but so we'll see how long this lasts. But uh, second part, as you remember in last uh, one, we finished up the lid. We got these one buys and this one by three on the center. I'm gonna square this up a little further, or uh, I guess that's not the right word, but add some tubing here to the intermediate uh, portions. Um, I'm not sure if I explained it or not before, but uh, why I had done the um, one buys here and the three by here um, was just for structural um, stability. I needed a one by for clearance. Um, I'm going to be putting in the a uh, stove oven and a <coughs> Dometic fridge, as you can see over here. Um, and they're going to be on drawer slides, so um, in here they just barely clear with the drawer slide height and um, this elevation here. So I had to, the whole reason behind this lid is one, to make it uh, waterproof, but also to give myself some added clearance here for that. So that's why these have to be there. Um, but then in the center, I wanted to be able to at least mount a spare tire uh, here in the center and <coughs> um, putting it over the wheelbase. Um, was also critical and then having some structural stability there on the front same essentially the reason when I open up the uh, the gate here I want to have as much room as possible um, between here to store crap so couldn't put the uh, lower uh, cross member in that's the reason behind it but uh, now let's get get going on getting some uh, welding done here and then hopefully we can put the uh, <coughs> top sheet metal in and then finish up what we did on the front there with the gate and get the latches done. Eventually I need to also obviously put this back side here um, in short now so I need to get a uh, two by three or maybe I'll just do the one and a half not sure um, yet but uh, to make the clearance up here it's two inches at this point but I'm just trying to decide what what will look best more likely I guess a two two inch piece by three to make that up but uh, we'll see what I actually end up doing on there and then obviously some some latches to uh, match a front so there we go let's get to it that'll do it um, it's just slow slow going uh, trying to get this thing all stitched together completely because um, of the heat uh, it starts warping the sheet metal it's only 18 gauge like I said before so I kind of got a little overzealous uh, at the onset here and it's pretty warped um, can't it's not too bad I guess I don't know there's a slight bubble that you can see right here um, but 
it's just how it's going to be. So, uh, not bad. Everything is uh, spot welded underneath to kind of tack it in place um, so it won't bounce and make a bunch of noise. Eventually, I'm going to probably insulate it. Uh, that one inch is of some spray foam or something like that. Something that is dead in the sound more than anything, um, but also insulate um, so it doesn't become an oven uh, for everything inside. So yeah, that's where we are. The gate. So the sun gate works, primed out. Um, the, the, like I said, there's some warpage with the, uh, you can see but once I bolt everything down, it should be fine. Um, but I have to get everything stitch welded out along here, along the entire perimeter for waterproofing sakes. Um, and then I can actually anchor it down and then I can actually put the uh, hardware on here so that we can get this thing um, buttoned up. But any happening today, Sunday and uh, I want to relax before I go to bed and wake up in the morning for work. So uh, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll just, uh, I may just off camera knock everything out and uh, get all the fun stuff. You can only watch so much welding time lapse, I have to imagine. So for me, it's more welding. And for you, let's just jump right ahead into some hardware installation. Boom. And I'm back. I've been busy uh, doing hinges while you've been waiting that half a second. Um, we have hinges welded out up front here with their perspective locks. So, boom. Boom. So how it will work, on this one side I can still, there's these thumb latches on the interiors. Um, I can grab them, pull it, flip it down, and obviously so, nothing too crazy, nothing too difficult. They're accessible from both sides, and that's how that works. Now, the back side, what did I have to do there? So, so far, here's where we are. I have the 2x3, it's still uh, eh, it's warm. I uh, just got finished welding out the um, seam all the way around to uh, waterproof it um, and then on the inside see how hot it is um, I just did a couple of stitch wells it just needs to kind of hold it in place I think that should be more than sufficient um, I am going to have to seal these two holes up though as I see now um, but yeah fits pretty well uh, there's a small gap over here I, I gapped it with the weld um, it gave a nice flush finish over here I didn't realize uh, kind of the difference in height there between the two um, it's kind of too late now we'll see what I can do with uh, gaskets or maybe a, a spacer I don't know here at this side um, we'll see it's already kind of gapped out right there but uh, that's where we are so now what I have to do is um, because of these these are 
like I said, they're Destaco. Um, 344 is the model, and that's just the size of it. And with that model number, um, you can't get far enough on this two inch piece. So you can see that the U-bolt here kind of ends too short. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you can see here, I've marked out uh, where I'm gonna cut this uh, top piece here so that I can come all the way to the edge here and that'll give me enough space to um, get this thing locked out like the other. So that's the next step. And then of course I'm gonna weld this out. Um, I also have to, I didn't do it yet on the front, but I have to put some, I have a piece of one inch square here that I'm gonna double stack. There's already a piece of one inch square here. I'm gonna put it um, next to it on the inside to reinforce so that I can uh, weld it out right here and give myself, um, so it doesn't just pull on the sheet metal. It's like an 18 gauge, like I said before. So um, I gotta do that on all four points. And then also one other thing, it's only one, like I just said, it's one inch square tubing, 16 gauge thickness on the wall there. Um, and you can see here that it's already deflected a little bit at this center point. So I think what I'm gonna do is take some angle iron and on the inside here, um, inside of here, mount a piece of angle iron so that it sticks out and provides a support um, on the midpoint here to um, alleviate any up and down while you're running down the road um, flexion in that uh, metal so that it doesn't over time just bow out, which is what I'm sure it will do. We have that midi midi intermediate uh, in the middle there, support. It's a one by three, it should give me plenty of stability. There should be any deflection there, but on the end points, I think that'll help out. So that's what I gotta do to make that happen. And uh, proceed. All right, well, we have got hop rifle latches. So, one-handed. I also uh, installed underneath here the itch. Just lift the other side, you got a little better shot. So, small piece of one inch um, on the other side there. It's gotten pretty heavy actually with that uh, two by three. Fortunately, it just kind of sits there um, while you left it. One handed or two handed. Um, we have a nice consistent uh, reveal here on the edge, which is nice for the uh, gasket. Um, and then the front is also done with the one inch. So it was already done before, but I just added the, the one inch underneath here. So there we go. All right, we are good to go back to drivable. I can drive this thing down the road now again. Um, yeah, next step. What's the next step? Well, next step, immediate next step is to get a uh, license plate holder um, right here. I ground it down. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that tonight or not. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to get some angle iron and uh, cut it, weld it, drill the holes for the uh, um, license plate holder. I'll probably weld some. I have some tension nuts on the back that I'll probably weld off where I can just uh, screw it in there and be done with it. But... Uh, that's it for now. We'll see what happens on the next episode. Um, appreciate you guys watching, staying with it. Uh, I'm ready for this thing to get done, but there's actually quite a bit more to do yet. We have um, to get all the, the actual supports that go up for the upper deck here um, done and the entire inside and painting and the door over here that goes right here for the battery compartment box. Um, that'll power everything and then wiring for that. I mean, there's a lot to do so but He's making these big steps here making progress uh, I'm appreciating it. I'm uh, excited. I'm ready to get done with this thing and get it actually in use But uh, like I said, appreciate you guys watching. Adios